Yeah, Des, you said you were excited and couldn't wait to, to get here. Now that you've gotten on the field with, with Coach Rob Moore, what are some of your early impressions and what do you think of some of the drills he's instituted? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, Coach is a great coach, obviously, uh, from the two days that I've been on the field with him so far. You know, we actually have a lot to work on, but, uh, you know, just getting used to him, getting used to, uh, you know, how he coaches. And, uh, you know, obviously, it's not going to be a sprint, it's going to be a marathon. Terry? Des, obviously, when you look at the receiver room, that you know, and there's only a couple of veterans here that have extensive experience, how much do you look at this as an opportunity for yourself to uh, maybe earn some playing time right away in this offense if you can get things down? Yeah, uh, you know, I just – I really don't think about stuff like that, honestly. You know, uh, the, really the only thing that I'm worried about is learning my playbook, uh, learning the respect of, you know, trying to – of my teammates, the respect of my coaches. And uh, as long as I do those things, everything else will take care of itself. But, you know, I'm just trying to learn how to be a Titan, learn my playbook, and everything else will fall into place. Teresa? Uh, Des, it, it, since the two weeks since you've been drafted, are, are you, how, what do you do to try to transition for this minicamp? Were you trying to find a place down here in Nashville? Are you trying to you know, work on you know, more drills to be ready to hit the field rather than just preparing for the draft? What have you done these last two weeks to get ready for, you know, for this weekend? Yes, definitely. You know, I definitely worked on you know, the wide receiver drills. Uh, you know, they sent me the little iPad, so I've been reviewing and studying my playbook that last two weeks uh, since the draft till now. Uh, I don't really try to worry about all the outside stuff, you know, the way I'm going to make money, the way I'm going to do, you know, my job is to be a football player. So I don't really try to look too much into, you know, the expenses or, you know, finding a house or finding, a you know, an apartment or anything. I let that, you know, lead to, you know, my mom or my dad, you know, because they like that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm just so focused on being a rookie, you know, learning how to be a Titan and learning my playbook so far. Jim Wyatt. And Des, you mentioned, you know, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint, but how important is it for you to feel like you want to make a good impression here in rookie camp? And how do you think that's going so far? Yeah, uh, definitely. I'll, I want to make a great impression. Uh, you know, your first impression, you know, is always what's stuck in, you know, coaches' heads, your teammates' heads and everything. So, you know, I just want to make a great first impression. Uh, just knowing, you know, have limited MAs, missed assignments, uh, mental errors, you know, just most of the things on the field, you know, uh, once I take care of stuff on the field, everything else off the field would just, you know, flow by. But, uh, you know, I'm just glad that I'm here. I'm blessed to be here. And uh, you know, I'm just going to continue to work, and that's what I love to do. Gentry. Yeah, Des, looking back at your time at Louisville, you had the most receptions of any season your first year, I guess, with Lamar and, and Coach Petrino. Uh, how, how much do you think it affected, you know, your stats and, and that sort of thing when you changed offenses midway through and, you know, maybe focused a little bit more on the run? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, it's two different type of coaches. But, uh, you know, I really don't think about stuff like that. At the end of the day, you know, I said this in, you know, interviews back in college and everything that, you know, my main priority is to win, win football games. You know, I, I rarely seldom look at my stats. You know, my dad is the one who, you know, tells me that or, you know, the other teammates or my friends or my little brother. But, you know, I let that, you know, that they handle that and, you know, I handle learning how to, you know, win in a certain way. So, you know, that's just everything that I've just always been growing up. And, you know, I'm going to continue to be like that, you know, while I'm a football player here for the Titans. Have you heard from Lamar since you got uh, drafted? Uh, yes, you know, we always keep in touch. You know, uh, I just continue to ask him, you know, how was he so successful his, you know, his rookie year. And the draft process, I'll continue to, you know, continuously always just on his phone asking him questions you know a lot of my friends are in the NFL I just continue asking them questions and you know the more you soak up you know things from players who are doing it before you the more you know I feel like you can be successful because you know you have like almost like a head start so you know I always use my friends who are in the NFL to my advantage. Luke? Yeah, I was watching you do some of those uh, receiver drills on the sideline. It looked like with every rep you were getting, you were you were getting more comfortable. Is that an accurate assessment? And, and what sort of 
the 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 quick learning curve with those sorts of things yeah uh definitely obviously you know uh first couple of reps obviously everybody's going to be excited everybody you know it's rookie mini camp is day two but at the end of the day you know it's still football uh like you said you know i felt like i was getting more comfortable as the day went on but uh you know it's still football at the end of the day and uh you know the more you learn something the more you work on something the more comfortable you, you know you're going to be and you know this is a new playbook obviously and obviously this is not college anymore this is the nfl so you know i have to get used to that and you know it just it's a learning experience and you know i'm just going through it david beauclair Des, you've got a, a couple of wide receivers here in Mason Kinsey and, and Kalaja Lipscomb who have been through this sort of thing once before. How much does it help to have a guy sitting nearby that you can ask some questions if need be? Yeah, definitely. You know, Mason always helps me out whenever I have a question and coaches him around or, you know, uh, when we're having a drill and I just ask him like, hey, what do you do on this? Or, hey, what do you do on that? Or, hey, what's your split on this? Just a reminder, you know, Mason's always there for me. Uh, you know, the same with Elijah. So, you know, for those, you know, vets to be there uh, with us, it's definitely going to, you know, benefit us and benefit them. Emily? Yeah, you said a, a couple of times that you're uh, learning how to be a Titan. What does that look like right now? Uh, what are the things that you're doing, not just learning how to be an NFL football player, but a Titan in particular? You know, just the culture, obviously, just uh, every football team's culture is different. Uh, you know, they do things different. They go about business different. They you know, the, the, the work on the field is different. And uh, for me to, you know, learn how to be from high school to learn how to be a Cardinal at Louisville and now from, you know, college to here, learning how to be a Titan. And, you know, I'm just listening to Coach Vrabel and everything he's saying and then Coach Moore and everything he's saying. And, you know, I'm just listening. I'm taking everything in and, you know, I'm trying to apply it on the field and off the field. What does the Titans culture look like to you so far, just, just a couple days in? No, obviously, you know, it's a winning culture, obviously. Uh, it's just they do everything right all the time. And that's just something that, you know, I just love about them. And, you know, I'm trying to be a Titan, obviously, forever. So, you know. Paul? Well, wondering uh, what you think of, of the job Brady White draws coming in as a tryout player and having the quarterback this whole thing in, in three days. Yeah, it's definitely, you know, uh, it's definitely kudos to him, you know, having one quarterback out there and, uh, you know, he's getting all the reps. And I know sometimes, you know, stuff could be hard, but uh, I think he's doing a pretty good job, you know, in my eyes. I'm not really sure about it, but, you know, uh, you know, just continuously, obviously, everybody has something to work on. And uh, I'm sure if he keeps on working, you know, something will happen. I'm not sure. You're on. Yeah, with, with your dad being a, a wide receiver coach, or as he calls a wide receiver, a breeder of wide receivers, uh, when was the first time you started playing a receiver position? How far back does your history go with that? Uh, first time, you know, obviously my, my dad had me working on receiver drills, you know, uh, ladders, cones, you know, in the backyard since I was six years old. Uh, first time playing tackle football, I was actually a running back, but Probably it was about sixth grade is when I like made the transition to actually playing like receiver at a passing, you know, little league team. And ever since then, you know, I just knew I was going to be a receiver. And, you know, my dad kind of just helped me along the way, obviously in high school and college. And, you know, he always has a little two cents to get me. And he was not just like, you know, I'm not your wide receiver coach, but, you know, yada, yada, yada. But, you know. Did you get to go over some of the, the drills that were sent to you on the iPad? Did you get to go over those with your dad? No, no, my dad really doesn't really, you know, um, my dad's not too involved anymore. He just likes to, you know, he likes to watch the games. He's not really into practice. He'll call me after every practice and ask, you know, how was it? How do you think you did? Um, my dad's really into, you know, uh, being your biggest critic. So, you know, he knows I'm going to be honest with myself, be honest with him about my performance or how I did. And, uh, you know, he'll kind of just go off based on that. But, you know, I think my my dad's more, you know, focused on my little brother right now. Gentry? Yeah, Des, you talked about this a little bit on draft day, but, you know, and when and that when that third day started and the Titans trade up the way they did to get you, when you look back, how much did that mean to you personally that, that they took you when they did, but also they they clearly made an effort to, to go get you? Yeah, uh, I just feel like that means that, uh, you know, they think that uh, – 
I am, you know, what fits their culture, what fits, you know, uh, how to be like being a Titan. And obviously, like I told, you know, uh, the GM and the head coach on the phone when they drafted me, you know, I'm going to live up to all the expectations that they think I can do. And I'm going to work my, you know, work my tail off to, you know, prove everybody right. I'm going to prove him, prove the Titans right and everybody else wrong of why they drafted me.